Alright, what's going on, y'all? I'm back again with another campaign overview thing. But this time I'm doing Dol Amroth. Uh, where should I move? Who am I sending this guy to? Holy shit. This guy has massive move range. How good is he? save you for another army. Just go in that fort. Alright. So yeah. I'm with the Lamrot this time. And it's been pretty fun so far. I think I'm gonna do a world conquest with this campaign. But I'm not sure. Because I'm only at 66. And I just finished the victory conditions uh, during the end turn. Because I tricked Mordor into selling it out. Yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing the whole campaign. You know, sometimes I just get in a mood to just go cheesy. Just real cheesy and exploitive. Like Legend at Total War. And just abuse the shit. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I did. Uh, I regicided the RR Denium really early like you know um let's see so i turned 10 maybe turn something like that it wasn't too hard i mean it was, it was a little tricky because the family members were all spread around but i still got it done and after that i just immediately just moved over to Harad, and they also went down kind of easily. <laughs> Luckily, their doom stacked just jack shit. It did not do a damn thing. It spawned somewhere over here, stood out, stood outside of Final Bell, and then just ran over here into the desert somewhere. I think it's over here. I mean, it wasn't really, I got really lucky, really lucky that they didn't do nothing. And then after Harad, Khand was actually pretty big. They had like this territory on the map. So they actually took a little bit to take out. They were... I th they were probably the biggest challenge the whole campaign. Just their horse archers, their bodyguard, they just have really decent units. And probably one of my favorite factions. <laughs> probably th they are one of my favorite factions. Yeah, it was a little tricky to deal with them. I still got it done. I pretty much just had I had Adrahill and. Mistfin over here trying to capture and destroy the armies over here and I had Imrahil come through down here while also taking out the rest of Harad and then came up through here and took out Khan's heartlands um, which is honestly a pretty good way to get rid of them They had some resistance, but definitely the most annoying faction I've dealt with so far. Then after that, I pretty much did the same thing I did with Khan. I sent Adrahill up here you know, to kind of take the front of Mordor's spam and attacks. And then sent Imrahil through the back. I think I split up his armor, or yeah, his army. One went up here, and then the other went down here, and then they met up met up around Berendur. And then they also... That's, they kind of went down fast. They, Well, their Heartlands did, but... They survived in Rohan for like 10... I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, they just lived on over here for 
for a while until I decided to send Mistvin with an army over to finally get rid of him. What the? It says a zero, but it's still recruitable. Huh, that's weird. So yeah, he's gonna come take out the rest of Isengard. But after Mordor, then I went to Rune. Kind of pretty much the same thing. Had Adrahil in another army. Or actually, I sent Adrahil up to Dolgador. Well, uh, another army was going this way, and Emberhill was coming up this way. Taking up the Hardlands, and then the other army kind of uh, taking on the spam, I guess. And their main forces, while Emberhill is just cleaning up the undefended territory. And then after Rune was destroyed, I put Ember Hill on a ship, sent him over here, and then he just kinda came through right here. Get in there. Oh shh. Don't even have a library there? Whatever. And then yeah. The other army that was in Rune they came up through here in Ember Hill or Adra Hill. He had already came up while they were taking out the rest of this area. And then I'm sending Ember Hill or Adra Hill. <laughs> I don't get them confused too much. To Isengard and Ember Hill. <laughs> As you can see, like, pretty much. I don't, I don't know when, but I just decided to get a nice bodyguard army for Ember Hill. I thought it would be fun, and it's been really fun. I think it was around, after I defeated Khan, I was just like, you know, fuck it. I'll just group up all these bodyguards and wreak havoc. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Um... I honestly don't really recommend it if you're looking for a challenge because um, it's it makes everything really easy well at least with this army but I like I like Cav and I like micro so it's it's fun for me and you know, I'm not too much of a big or I'm not solely a big challenge you know, put myself in the hardest situation type of guy or player I mean I like both I like just destroying uh, factions with big armies, and then sometimes I'll go for a slower, chill uh, campaign. But as you can see, I was feeling really cheesy and cheeky in this campaign, and pretty much Dogwador fell in like five turns. And oh, I forgot. I also have this army <laughs> over here to take out Dunland, and then there's another army on a boat, yeah right here, to help him. Then once they're done doing that, I'm going to send them up here to help get rid of the uh, goblins with Emmerhill and Durdeer. not sure if I want to do World Conquest yet, but I probably will. It's, it's been relatively smooth, kinda. There's been some pushback. It's lost a lot of battles, and you're probably thinking that I've cheated at some point, but I try my hardest not to, and like, I'm a really cheesy player, so like, if you're cheating and cheesing, then it's, uh, you, you can't really do both. The only thing I really do is toggle fog of war, to, uh, what's the only thing I do, to look at how everyone's doing. I don't know, I just think it's fun to see how everyone's faring in the campaign, see who's losing, see who's winning. Like the High Elves, they're getting their shit rocked. And Isengard got this little colony up here. Um, 
guessing that's from the pre-script or the Hobbit scourging script, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's the only thing I do. And yeah. Also, I'm pretty happy with how I've handled the economy so far. But obviously, when you have 66 regions, you're gonna make money. But you still gotta focus on economy. You can't just go for military. And I'm not. Like, I'm just building the Baron Stables. Which, I don't know if that's long. 77? I don't know. I mean, I don't really have a basis or a thing to go off of. But, um. by the way, use your forts. Like, especially if you have a faction that uh, has ships and is on the coast and has a lot of forts on the coast, you can just send uh, a ship and they'll just pick them up. You just send them on the ship from the forts. Then psh, go send them somewhere. That's kind of what I like to do. I like to do naval invasions. Like what I'm doing over here. And I got some troops down here, but not too much. Yeah, a, little, a little bit. I'm pretty much just recruiting pikemen and archers at the moment. I should just be recruiting everything, but I don't want to go broke from having a big ass military, even though with more military you get more regions and then you get more money, so it kind of evens out. So just do what you want to do. Play how you want to. I also have a few merchants. Not making too much money, but, you know, it helps, you know, about a thousand for merchants. Um, yeah. It doesn't even show, but whatever. Uh, I don't think I've built, yeah, I haven't built anywhere yet from the building report, so I'll have to do that. Take a look at this. Um, yeah. If you see, pr wait, what the? Yeah, pretty much just everyone went down relatively easy. <laughs> Not really, but it, it was a challenge. So yeah, I just pretty much blitzed everyone. Especially Dark of Thor. But when you have an army like this, it's definitely helpful. Definitely helpful and fun if you like that. If you're a blitzing type of player, there's not too many of us. But if you are, I'll shout out you. But uh. That's pretty much everything I've done so far. Um, oh, I did buy Minas Tirith and West of Gilead from Gondor. What is going on? So, there's also that. Sorry if you heard that, I had to burp. But. That's pretty much everything I've done. And for the rating, for Dull Amroth, for difficulty, uh, it really depends on what you do, like every campaign. If you kinda, like, if you don't blitz uh, the Adonaiim, Harad, you can't really blitz Khand, to be honest, because you have to sh swiggle around through here. I mean, if you want to, you can do that. I mean, if you blitz either one of them, it takes down a difficulty notch. But if you don't do that, I can see it being pretty difficult. Um, I know the like main strategy for Dol Amroth is to come down and take out the Ardenium. So, or at least that's what I've heard. 
that's kind of what I did. Kind of. Because I also did the same thing. Blitzed her out too. So yeah. Blitzing definitely just makes everything easy. Like, for me, this campaign was like... 1 out of 5 for difficulty, 5 being the hardest, probably like a 2. Yeah, probably a 2. It's, it's fun though. It was fun. For your fun rating, I'd give it a... Probably a 4, maybe even a 5. Probably, probably a 5. Also, it kind of helps in AGO, your cavalry just has insane movement range, like it's insane. Like compared to your infantry, it's like double, especially with bodyguards. So, if you have an infantry bodyguard faction, you're not gonna, well, you could, but you're not gonna move around as fast. Unless you don't use generals and just move around with Cav. Fun campaign. Fun campaign. Um, let's see. It does look suspicious, I'm not gonna lie. At a first glance, it, it definitely does not look legit, but... Once you kind of, once you see this, and uh, if you add in cheese, uh, it's definitely possible. You can probably do it faster than I did, but, or you can probably go faster, conquer more, in less turns. But I wasn't going super fast, but I was definitely going fast. Yeah. At the end of the day, play how you want to. If you like doing this, do this, but if you don't, don't. But anyway, I might do a video showing off some exploits and cheese that you can do. Not, like, not showing off, but a guide. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, shit. yeah I'll, I will, I will. It'll be a good video, hopefully. But anyway. If you watched all the way to the end, you know, thank you, thank you. Um, just gonna wrap it up. I uh, appreciate you for watching, and have a good rest of your day, rest of your night, and rest of the week for uh, whatever time it is for you. And peace out.